let's take a look at some of the logistics of the course. Um, in uh, Canvas here, if you click on the syllabus option, it'll take you, give, you, give you a link to the syllabus. Um, but I've also put a bunch of the other things you'll need for this class linked to them here uh, as a nice kind of organizer. So we've got the syllabus, and I hope that that does a good job uh, saying how much I want this to be a supportive, friendly, helpful class. Um, that I hope it can promote a sense of belonging, um, that I understand the struggles uh, some people are going through if they're trying to take care of uh, kids or parents or uh, just friends or other relatives. Um, so I'll let you read through the syllabus uh, on your own. And, uh, and the next thing you'll need is the textbook. The good news is it's a free PDF. Uh, there's a copy of it here in Canvas, or you can also get it just on the open web if you are having trouble logging into Canvas someday. Uh, I recommend having a copy of it on your computer and your phone uh, so you can read it even if your internet connection uh, goes flaky. Um, we have a big playlist of YouTube videos that I've made, um, so you'll be watching those. Uh, and uh, as questions come up on those, questions are how we learn. Questions are natural part of the learning process. Uh, send me an email if there's a question you have on anything in the video. Uh, and then we have the big file that shows all of the homework assignments. Um, so it has the schedule in it, and this says, um, if I was running an in-person class, what we would be doing each day for the in-person class. So that's my suggested pacing for our class. Um, it has the due date goals, so homework for chapter 2.1. Uh, should You should be turning that in roughly that day. I have um, due dates set up in Canvas because some people really appreciate the calendar organizer system in Canvas. Um, but uh, if you need to miss that by a day or so, that's usually not a problem. Um, so there's the schedule. Um, there's information on ex installing Excel for free. Uh, Google Sheets is good enough for most things in this class, um, but sometimes you really do want name brand Excel. Um, we'll be using the annotate feature in Zoom sometimes when we're doing one-on-one -on -one chats, so there's some directions there, um, some motivational stuff. And then um, I have a way that I suggest doing the homework by hand. I'll let you read that. Um, and then when you get to the actual like chapter 2.1 homework, this is saying do problems one through five, but it doesn't say six here and doesn't say seven, etc. So don't do six, don't do seven. And then it says for the next block of problems, etc. And all of a sudden we're up to 15. So that really means I don't expect you to do problems six, seven, eight, all the way up to 14. Um, and then um, it's got a web page where you can practice a skill. Uh, we're thinking about metacognition in this class. That's thinking about thinking or stepping back to see the, the big picture. So that's an important part of the learning process. Um, and then uh, let's see. Then we go on to chapter 2.2, for example. Um, so the idea is you'd write out by hand your solutions to homework one, take photos of them with your phone probably, hopefully using an app like Genius Scan or Cam Scanner to make one PDF instead of a bunch of separate individual uh, JPEGs or whatever. Um, and then you turn that into Canvas and move on to watch the videos for Chapter 2.2 and do the Chapter 2.2 homework, etc. So that's the flow of the class. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, we'll be using the free online graphing calculator called Desmos. Um, we'll be using Excel and Google Sheets. Um, mentioned genius scan um, we'll be doing short technical interviews which some people would call quizzes which is a one-on-one -on -one chat where i tell you a problem and you work on it um, and then you show me your answer uh, and for uh, this semester i'm doing infinite redos on those so if you don't get the problem right if you show you haven't mastered it then we can do a little bit of extra help and maybe schedule another Zoom session for some help, and then you can schedule a retake. And the retakes have no penalty, no grade point penalty to them. Uh, and I pretty much expect that everyone will keep up with the redos until they master each of the topics. Uh, the last thing I want to mention, uh, well, for one thing, um, uh, office hours are all by appointment on the calendar. So you just open the calendar here and choose any of the slots that work for you and click on it. Um, and uh, I don't want to undersell, like I hope this class is as low stress as possible for a math class, but 
but I don't want to undersell how much work it will probably take. People have done research on how much it takes uh, to do reasonably well in calculus, and they found it's about 16 hours on average for an asynchronous online course. Um, and so if you're just coming out of Math 107, which was a two-credit course, this is a four-credit course, so this is going to be twice as much work, plus more because calculus is known to be harder than trig. So um, hopefully that will work for you this semester. Um, and we have some other stuff here. Again, the info on getting the, um, the Excel for free. Um, and for the final project, we'll be using these project guides. All right, on we go to the course content in the next video.